Now as the Indian automotive industry eases back into some sort of normalcy with the relaxations in the lockdown, as they're opening up their dealerships, fulfilling their older orders, resuming their services and also working on attracting newer customers with newer product launches, you as an enthusiast might be wondering what's coming your way in the coming future. So here are our top picks of the motorcycle launches that you should look out for. Triumph Tiger 900 The Triumph Tiger 900 would have been launched in India by now if it wasn't for the coronavirus pandemic. However, with the relaxations coming in and the automotive industry slowly getting back into shape, expect the new Tiger to be launched really, really soon. And it has got a lot of people waiting for it as not only is it Triumph's most popular motorcycle in India, but it's one of the most popular adventure motorcycles that is sold in our country. And with the new model, it will be coming in two variations. Namely, the Triumph Tiger GT900, which is meant for highways, long-distance touring and mild off-roading, and the Triumph Tiger Rally 900, which is meant for proper off-roading action. Now, just before the virus took over the world, we actually have already ridden both these motorcycles as we went around Africa on them, and we can tell you that both of these are way better than before and worth waiting for. The second motorcycle in our list is the Ducati Panigale V2. Now, at first sight, it might look like the flagship Ducati Panigale V4, but it actually is not. As despite looking very similar to the older generation V4, yes, there is a new V4 and it has not been launched in India, the V2 actually continues with the new nomenclature that Ducati is adopting. The V2 signifies the V-shaped twin-cylinder engine that it will be using from the 959 Panigale, the motorcycle that the V2 replaces. The new bodywork not only makes the V2 look better, modern and more tightly packed, but also serves as a function as the wind deflection off of the rider is claimed to be better and the riding ergonomics have been updated too. Hero Extreme 160R Now coming to some mass market motorcycles, Hero will soon be coming out with the Extreme 160R which it had showcased at the very first edition of Hero World 2020. This motorcycle replaces the aging Extreme Sports and marks the brand's entry into the 160cc segment. And by the looks of it, Hero is trying their best to make the motorcycle stand out of the crowd by giving it elements like the pool LED headlamp cluster and tank shrouds that extend all the way to the middle of the motorcycle. The grab rails are neatly integrated too and the motorcycle overall looks like a promising product inbound from Hero Motorcycles. Royal Enfield Meteor Royal Enfield made all kinds of right noises with their last all-new motorcycle launch which were the Interceptor and Continental GT650 that set the cash counters ringing. Now, they're set to do that all over again with the launch of their upcoming motorcycle which will be called as the Meteor. This will be replacing the now discontinued Thunderbird 350X and Thunderbird 500X and will come with several new features like a PS6 engine, a digital instrument cluster that could get smartphone connectivity through Bluetooth and a new overall package that will be a lot modern and up-to-date. Suzuki V-Strom 650 The Suzuki V-Strom 650 is one of those rare modern motorcycles that offer you a 650cc adventure to the package. And being a Suzuki, it offers the usual good bits like a super refined engine, fantastic chassis setup, a raspy exhaust note and a lovely suspension. The V-Strom 650 is a great recommendation for those who are looking for an easy-going middleweight adventure motorcycle that gets the job done when it comes to tackling city traffic, munching miles on the highway, can clock long saddle time day after day and do a bit of off-roading too when the going gets tough. Suzuki will soon be launching the updated BS6 compliant version of the V-Strom 650. So there you have it, that's our top 5 motorcycles to look out for in India in the coming future. What these motorcycles show is there are several different kinds of motorcycles coming for all kinds of riders across segments and we cannot wait to get our hands on them.